you guys today is march the 7th and i am back with a weekly vlog i guess you could say i don't know i have no idea what i'm doing but i am vlogging my week because i haven't vlogged since my birthday and i just miss vlogging i'm going to be doing a bunch of stuff this week that i want to capture for you guys i'm going to go to sephora because i'm going to learn how to do my makeup yeah i said it i'm going to learn how to do my mfing makeup like if you follow me on instagram i just made this post like literally last night and i was like i'm just like going through an identity crisis like i'm really just trying to like find myself find what i like and shit like that and you know i want to just be happy with how i look i guess you could say not saying that i am not confident like i'm confident as a bitch but i'm just saying like during certain points on like i want to you know be like that like i want to be glammed up sometimes and makeup doesn't define who you are but you know i feel like makeup is a form of self-care and i want to get into that just add that lavish look to myself so I'm going to go to the store this weekend and get some makeup. I'm going to start with like my brows and then like make my way down I guess you can say. Like with concealer and foundation and then we'll just go from there. <laughs> so it is currently 3 o'clock. I am waiting on my friend to get finished plucking my wig. She's going to do my hair. Y'all see it. She works in the same suite as me. So she's over there. I'm in my suite right now. I just got finished up with my client. Not too long ago. It's been a busy day. I'm tired. But I'm really excited to get my hair done. And yes, this video is sponsored by a wig hair company. Yeah, we'll get all that information once it is time to actually install the wig and stuff like that. But yeah, this is just a little couple days in my life. You know, a little weekly vlog. I don't know what I'm going to title it. Yeah, y'all know my titles are always like something like crazy. Because I like my titles to stand out. I don't like, oh, weekend in my life, day in my life, blah, blah. I don't like shit like that. I want your title to be spicy. Like, I want to click on your video. Like, what is the reason that I'm clicking on this video today? Um, I also have an audition to do. Um, I also go to a funeral tomorrow. My great-great-grandmother passed away. Rest in peace to her. Um, I'm also going out this week, allegedly. I don't know. Yeah, I really don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I just picked up my camera because I'm getting my hair done today. And I was like, well, I guess I'm a vlog. I didn't plan this video out at all. But it is what it is, y'all. We just going to thug it out. Maybe I'll try to plan it as time goes on. But as of now, we just here. I got one eyelash on. Yeah, I'm just waiting for her to say she's ready. And then we're going to get started on my hair. So come back in like five minutes. Go grab your snack. Go grab your drinky, drinky, drunk. And come back. And it's going to be time to uh, put this fucking wig on this fucking shit. Okay, cornrows. They look a little crazy. <laughs>
all right you guys so i am back home now it is probably like nine ish going on no it's not going on 10 it just turned nine o'clock so not too long ago um i've been home for like maybe an hour or so i got my hair finished at around 6 55 ish and then i left then i went to wendy's to get something to eat because i was starving i haven't eaten all day but this is my hair absolutely love it my friend she did such a good job she is in the process of practicing like installs and stuff like that um this is my same friend if i remember i was supposed to take a wig class with her but the class ended up being canceled and some more shit it was something wrong with the girl's shipment on the wig so we weren't able to do the class that day and then she just went to the class without me because the next day like it was snowing and i couldn't drive in the snow but i'm super proud of her super happy for her with her business she does nails and she also does hair that's my friend kennedy so you definitely book with her her, her Instagram is the crown experience, but yeah, she definitely liked it. A really, really, really good job on my hair, and I really like it a lot. This hair is from Sofield Hair. It's not my first time that I've had their hair. I personally feel like this wig is a much better wig than the wig I had last time. The lace and like everything, everything just looks good. Or she just installed this shit like perfectly. I don't know, one of the two, but I think it's the lace. That shit is scalping. It is like growing out my fucking head. But I am super tired, you guys. Like, I've been up since 6 this morning. So I've been up for 12 hours now, like, on my feet all day. I'm just ready to lay down and go to sleep. So I'm getting ready to tie my hair up, take a shower, and then I am going to go to bed. I also can't sleep in tomorrow because I have to go to a funeral. And I also have to do an audition tomorrow. And I also need to make an order. Pretty busy day tomorrow. But I love you guys. Have a good night. And I will talk to y'all tomorrow. I don't know why, but like every time I start to record a new video or a video that I'm already filming, it's like, it's not a video if I don't film in the bathroom. Like, you know, my bathroom is like not even bathrooming right now. I just always got to start in my bathroom because the mirror's right here. This is where I get. My cat is jumping on the wall. I don't know if y'all saw her or not, but she just like jumped all the way up there anyways you guys so today is wednesday my first day filming was on monday i didn't get to film yesterday which was tuesday because like i told y'all it was the funeral day and it was just like really really busy i had the funeral and then i got home and um i had to do an audition then i had to make an order and then i was just like really really tired i didn't go to bed till like 12 because i was super busy and i had got up at six that morning and six on monday so i was like you know i just, I just can't film it was, nothing, it was nothing even to film for real like i know y'all didn't want to see me go to a damn funeral y'all saw me make orders plenty of times the only thing i haven't seen me do yet was audition i be saying i'm gonna show y'all me audition one day but i don't know i just be trying to get it done if you know what i'm saying so i didn't really feel like sitting there propping the camera up and going through that whole process audition this went well. I got it done. That's all that matters. Um, today is Wednesday, like I just said. So now I'm about to get ready to go to work. I already have one client today, which is really, really good. Tomorrow, on the other hand, I have eight clients, y'all. It's from nine to like four. I'm like, why does everybody want to get waxed on a Thursday? Probably because I don't wax on Fridays. I don't wax Friday through Monday or every other Monday. And my hours are like from 8 to 2 because I'll be having stuff to do. So I can't be at the shop all day. I'm excited for my clients. Like, because there was a time where I was like, what if no one books me? You know what I'm saying? People have been booking with me, which is really good. So I'm glad they like my work. And I'm glad I like the results and everything. So that's good. I should be done by like 12. 12, 15. It don't take me that long to wax. It depends on who the client is, for real, because I know like some estheticians, they put like their clients on like a time limit, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, and I'm like, you know, you can't put a client on a wax time limit because every client's hair is not the same. So some people's hair, they're just coming from shaving or they shave in between their wax, so their hair is not gonna come up. Some people have stubborn hair, some people have clogged pores, so their hair is stuck inside their skin. I'm never gonna put a time limit on 
doing my clients waxes because you never know like you never know how much hair they're going to come in here with or what the case may be so what i do is have you book with me your um slot is basically 45 minutes long it gets you time to get there if you come late and it also gives me time to evaluate your skin and wax you so if it does take me longer than normal i still have that time until my next client versus me saying oh yeah your wax gonna take 15 minutes and it takes 20 and then my next client is already here and now my shit is pushed back that's just for me though i don't know what everyone else hold on because i think Wendy wants to say hi because she keeps staring say hi Ooh, girl, you look so cute. Hey, no hit. You don't hit them. So bad. I'm about to put some of this turmeric soap on my chin because I have like some dark spots because I get pimples like right there all the time. Whenever they come, I, like pick them. They always leave a scar. And I've been putting like cocoa butter on it, but it hasn't been working. It usually does. When I learn how to do my makeup, then. Maybe I can make them go away. That's another thing. So today, although I only have one client, it's raining outside and I'm so tired, you guys. Like basically, physically tired. I said mentally. Mentally, physically. I'm tired. I've been doing stuff every single day. I just need a break. I told y'all I was gonna go to like the makeup store to get some makeup and today would be the day to do that, but I'm tired. I don't think I wanna do that today. Just being honest, I really don't think I want to do that today. Friday is gonna be our errand day because I have a lot, I have a lot of things to do on Friday. So I need to go get my car wash, get my car clean, go to the makeup store, get some makeup, so we can practice. Hopefully, if it looks cute, I can have my makeup done before when I go out Friday. I have no idea where my other earring is, but I'm not in the mood to go look for it and find it. But I'm about to go to work, you guys. I'm not gonna take you guys with me today. Maybe tomorrow, because tomorrow will be busier. But I'm gonna go to work, come home home do like some self-care watch this movie spoiler um that didn't happen you do a face mask i'm always having to do because i don't do a face mask but come home watch a movie clean my room a little bit and just chill probably work on this video so it can be up have a good day you guys i'll be back maybe like around one o'clock ish two ish i'm going to traffic and stuff like that and then we'll break and be hey you guys welcome back so i know that i told y'all i would have came back tomorrow and then the fucking day after that and the day after that yeah um that never happened i'm trying to talk in general at the same time but for some reason it seems like way too hard right now anyways nevertheless today is friday and i got to start off the day today's gonna be the day that we all run errands so i have a lot of things to do today i just left my suite because i had to meet my boyfriend who gave me my shoes because i'm going out this weekend like i told y'all and i left my shoes at his house he brought me those and he also gave me some gave me some flowers which was really nice of him but now i'm on my way to my car wash because i need to get my car wash you guys like my car is absolutely disgusting when i say disgusting it looks disgusting i'm gonna show y'all before i go through the couch and everything but i gotta take some trash out of here throw everything away it is awful thing it needs to be wiped down it needs to get this trash out it needs to be vacuumed the outside is filthy like everything just needs to be redone like it looks a mess so after i do that i am going to go to cbs as well i may go to cbs first because i got to start up a day i am about to start trying to do my makeup so the first thing i want to go find is an eyebrow pencil so i need get an eyebrow pencil with like the color and like the little spoolie at the end of it i'm gonna go to cvs because the videos i want they say you can find it at like a cvs or a beauty supply store so i'm gonna go try cvs and if i need to go to the beauty supply store i will go find one there but i think i'm gonna have good luck at the cvs or something because it's a drugstore product and i feel like that'll be better than going to a beauty supply store then i'm gonna attempt to do my eyebrows today once i get home i'm gonna practice hopefully they look decent i guess i don't expect myself to get them right like on the first try that would be great but i doubt that will happen i have high expectations for myself and with practice eventually i will get better and everything i just feel like i could do something i have good eyebrows they need to be like shaped a little bit but for the most part i have like really good 
eyebrows. They're really full, you know, not too thick, not too thin. But with that being said, after I go find me an eyebrow pencil at CVS or somewhere, I'm gonna go to Sephora, try to find like some concealer and foundation, I guess. After I get like my color, I feel like I'll be able to go just find my stuff anywhere. You don't have to always go the expensive route, like Ulta, Sephora, stuff like that. But I want them to help me with like my color because I don't know my skin color. That's all I need them to help me with today. I'm going to get some concealer and foundation. I'm going to actually take the time out of my day today and practice my makeup. So I'm super excited. This can go one or two ways and go really good or can go really bad. I have brushes. I'll probably still get a few more but I definitely think I already have brushes because of okay, let's gave me some brushes so I think I'll be fine with those. So yeah, I'm just going to go get an eyebrow pencil today. Some concealer, foundation. For me, I want an everyday look to be like natural but definitely like glam. I want you to be able to tell I have a glam on. So it's also my aunt's birthday today and my cousin's birthday is tomorrow. So we're celebrating all weekend like it's gonna be so freaking lit and I just feel like the face has got to be beat Like it got to be beat. If it's not gonna be beat. That's fine But I just feel like you know this is perfect opportunities for me to try to do it and practice definitely makes perfect Or as my acting coach would say practice makes confidence so I'm on my way to the car wash right now I'm going to clean my car out get all of that stuff out of here get it clean go to CBS go find me an eyebrow pencil then go to Sephora go find some makeup then come back home do my makeup pack all my clothes for the weekend because I'm not going to be home for the weekend I'm going to be at my aunt house I'm just taking y'all with me on this journey to a new lifestyle a new me I was looking at a video today of Aaliyah G talking about how this year like, she's being selfish self-care stuff like that and I personally feel like makeup is a form of self-care and if I learn how to do it I will have more self-care days to myself because I will make the time to do my makeup and shit like that it's not going to be like a consistent thing because I personally feel as though I look better without makeup I want to go to Target as well but I don't feel like it I really don't I just want to get back in the house I need to go find what I'm wearing for tonight pack my clothes clean my room a little bit I was supposed to bang do that but I didn't. Hope you guys enjoying the video so far. It's gonna be an exciting road. Okay? Okay. had to make a pit stop first i don't know how long i'm gonna be out so i decided to get something to eat i'm at mcdonald's fucking mcdonald's i don't like mcdonald's but for some reason today i just had the craving for it like best to eat it now before i will get my car washed any fucking way don't judge me all right you guys so i made it to cvs now i'm about to go in here and see what i can find to do these brows you see the brows like they're not bad right they need to be like cleaned up but they're not bad not at all let's go they got the entrance boarded up that's ghetto i am here in the makeup section they got different brands on top revlon l'oreal maybelline okay this is a brow pencil it's 10 bucks that shit that's expensive what color is this? Let's see what else I can find. I have no idea what I'm looking for. I only saw one eyebrow pencil. They only have one eyebrow pencil? They gotta be bullshit. Okay, now I'm about like, uh, what am I buying? Nail polish and stuff. So I did find one eyebrow pencil, so I guess we're gonna have to just go with that one because I don't even see like, any other eyebrow pencil? That's the only one I found. They could have more. I'm probably not looking. I think this one should be good. It is a brow stylist definer. Stencil brows. Ultra fine tip. The color is light brunette. I'm gonna go with this one. So I end up getting that eyebrow pencil that I showed you guys. This was 10 bucks. I don't think that's bad. Over time, of course, I'll probably move on to high-end products. But for the time being, since I'm just now learning and stuff like that, I feel like this one will be good. So I'm going to use this one. And we're going to practice this when I go home. But now, I just pulled my car over to clean my car out. I got a trash bag. And I got a bunch of trash in my car. Little disclaimer. My car is like this because I've had people in my car. I haven't cleaned my car since 
since I've been back from vacation and that was like almost a month ago so it's been a while since my car has gotten cleaned and all that razzle dazzle stuff so I'm sorry but yeah like what can I do nothing besides clean it out so yeah I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like so this is my driver's seat you know like all that shit needs to be vacuumed like what is this what is this my seat looks a mess i also want to get my car detailed but it's another story for another day so then i got like a bunch of water bottles like this like trash girl don't even get me started then i got shoes a bag a cvs bag more bottles it's literally like just bottles of stuff and then my back more bottles shoes a bag bruh a fucking bundle more shoes like it's just really bad I don't want to clean my car out while I'm in the line because I don't want to hold the line up and shit. So I'm going to do it right here, then pull my car over there to go get it um, washed and vacuumed and all of that good stuff. There's my lip glosses. Couldn't find none. They're in the fucking I literally found my car that I was looking for under my seat. Oh no, baby. We OTF. Mm -mm. OTF. Two Bel Airs and a pink Winnie that can go to f hell. This is the B4 of me getting my car wash. Very filthy. You can see, like, it looks disgusting. Really grayish. But I got all the trash out. This is going in the garbage when I get over there. Now we just need her vacuum. I have left the car wash now I'm on my way to Sephora it's close to my house that's good because after I leave here I'm going straight home to go get myself ready for tonight figure out something to wear because my aunt just changed her plan we're going to Ruth Chris for dinner instead of full good child I don't even have an outfit for that like Ruth Chris they have a dress code so what I was gonna wear like it's way out of their dress code I don't know I gotta find something to wear and then I'm gonna just change my outfit we'll make it out later on tonight and then tomorrow we're also going somewhere i don't know where but i gotta find something to wear to that on my way to this little makeup store what them stores would do if you don't know what you're talking about or know what you're doing they will try to get you into buying some shit you don't fucking need so i'm like no i'm coming here for strictly concealer and foundation just tell me my color and i'm gonna be out your way i am <laughs> Hey you guys, so I just drove all the way over here to a Sephora that is no longer here. I should have looked this up sooner because the location that they said it was at, I was like, I've never seen a Sephora over here. Like, But I also couldn't remember because there's so many stores, but no. The nearest Sephora from me is like a good 25 minutes and i'm not driving 25 minutes like i do not feel like doing it i don't want to do that so i'm going to go to alta instead i don't have a gift card to alta i'm just gonna have to just pay that way but i mean what can you do i guess and alta is 15 minutes away i don't feel like i just want to go home you guys i literally just want to go home i thought i was gonna come here then swing back home but no and i also just filled my tank well i didn't fill my tank my boyfriend filled my tank i had 361 miles i'm at 318 now and gas is too fucking expensive to drive around like you don't know where the fuck you're going like it's too expensive 40 dollars fill my tank it used to be 20. now it's 40 dollars fuck a scream right now but fuck it we're gonna alter so we finally made it to a makeup store let's see what we can find i'm so excited
Yeah, I saw him in Ulta. And why I see an eyebrow pencil for $2? And I just paid 10 at CVS. But I see like a bunch of like stuff, but I don't know. And like, I don't really see no workers. So I can't really like fix. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep looking around. I have a lot of stuff in here. It's kind of making me anxious. Currently at Julia's Palace, looking at foundations, and I'm just testing them all on my hand. I don't know which one will be the best for me, but I'm thinking this this one. So I ended up finding this. This is a Morphe like glow stunner foundation, I guess. I don't know, but it was the best one that blended in with my skin. I found one of these Julia ones, but I don't remember which one that I used that. I really like on my skin. I think it was this one, but I don't want to buy it and then I don't like it. But, yep. So I think I'm just gonna get it anyway. I don't have a concealer, cause I don't you know how concealer works. And the concealer that I found over in the Morphe section, they don't have the color that I was gonna get. So now I'm looking at the Julius Palace concealers. Yeah, I think this would look like my skin. Let me know, cause I don't know. They said you want to go two shades lighter, so I'm thinking like this one or this one. This one looks lighter, so I'm going to do this one. This is the J18. I'm going to get this concealer, this foundation, and the Morphe foundation. So yeah. <laughs> So I just got home. I'm about to give you guys a haul of what I got from Ulta today. I got like a couple items and they were $60. I feel like it's a good price for everything that I did get, but I could be tripping. I don't know. First things first, this is my birthday gift that they gave me. It's the One Step Facial Cleanser. My birthday was a month ago, but they still gave it to me. So I got this. I got two packs of these makeup remover wipes because if this shit all goes to fails, I need this shit to get off my face best way possible so i got some neutrogena makeup wipes these were $2.19 a piece then i got the morphe glow stunner hydrating tinted moisturizer so this is like a foundation but she told me like it's not as heavy as the actual foundation like it's still full coverage or whatever and she was like looking at your skin you don't looking at your skin you don't really need like you know too 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 much full coverage so I got that. This is the color that. So yeah, rich glow, tin. rich glow tin. I got that one, and I also got the Julius Palace foundation. This is the color Utopia 400. So I'm just gonna play around with both of these to see which one I like the most. But I think it's gonna be this one. But I am gonna try this one as well. This was twenty fucking dollars. This little ass bottle. I was like, oh. Also got this concealer. And the color what color this is it says magic concealer 18 this is the conceal color that i got hopefully this is lighter than me that's everything that i got from Ulta today to begin my makeup journey i also have a bunch of other stuff here that i just collected like over time and stuff a bunch of eyeshadow palettes i have a bunch of like lip gloss lashes stuff like that a couple makeup brushes the only thing i don't have that i think i may need setting powder like no baking powder or whatever that stuff is called time check it is 3 17 so i'm about to go ahead and get in the shower because i have to be ready by like seven because dinner for my aunt is at eight so i'm getting a shower and then after i get the shower i'm gonna do my hair do my makeup well try to do my makeup get dressed and so forth so i'm gonna go ahead and take a shower really quickly come out and start this makeup process all right you guys the time has come where it is now time for us to start our makeup journey for all the beauty gurus and the makeup artists the lash techs whatever y'all want to call yourselves i am new i had no idea what i'm doing i am just giving this a try i want to start with my brows because I'm going to watch a video on how to do that. But first I'm going to wipe my face because I did have some of that makeup on that I was trying on in the store. So I'm just going to clean my face. We're going to spray it with this rose water setting spray from Maven Beauty. So I'm going to clean up my brows really quickly. If I knew I was doing this today, I would have waxed my brows. I never even shape my brows this way. So I probably should have waxed them, but I don't have any wax home right now, so I can't do that. I've never shaved my eyebrows, so 
I'm not gonna do too much because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing and I don't wanna cut my eyebrow. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it like that. I think that looks good. Y'all let me know, I don't know. I'm here for like all of you guys to critique me and give me like advice. Cause like I said, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm practicing. And if I like the way it looks, when I go out, I wear it. I heard it's best to do your eyebrows on like groom brows because you get like better results. I think I just cut this brow like too short. That's <laughs> why so you don't touch your brows. Okay, well hopefully we can fix that with a little eyebrow or whatever. And while I'm doing my eyebrows, you guys, I'm not gonna really talk because I'm gonna watch a video like in the process. Bear with me. All right, I'm about to pull up a YouTube video. I just did my brows. Well, I did something to my brows. I don't know if I can fucking tell, but like, I feel like this one looks way better than this one. I don't know what this like line is. <laughs> I don't know. Hopefully, I can clean it up with like some concealer. I'm trying to watch a video. I don't know. Maybe we just won't do brows. But, all right, on to the next thing: concealer. Okay, so they say use an angle brush for the concealer. I'm using the Real Technique angle brush. This is from my friend Akela. She bought me this. But this is my angle brush that I'll be using. And this is my concealer that I'll be using. All right, she said start from, I'm gonna start with this brow first. Start in the middle. What the fuck am I doing? As you can see me do, so you're just going to spread out. So I'm just using the angle brush to just blend the concealer in. I got my concealer in. She says it takes a long time to blend in with a little brush. So you can use a big brush. That's what I'm about to do because for one, I don't even know how to blend. So I'm just going to use a bigger brush to blend in this concealer. It looks bad in camera, but it doesn't actually look like bad in person. Like, it, it really doesn't look that bad, you guys. Okay. Let me not get too excited now. Y'all, oh my God, I don't know why the camera can be look like my eyebrows are like white but y'all yeah, they actually don't look that bad could it be better hell yeah but they don't look that fucking terrible or they look the same i'm proud of myself y'all all right on to the next step so i decided to just wing the rest of this video instead of following like a tutorial because because once i actually get this makeup thing down pat i'm not going to be following the tutorial anyway so i might as well just start going ahead and doing it by myself so i did my brows or did what i could to my brows i don't want to wear too like much heavy makeup anyway so i'm getting ready to go ahead and prime my face and then put on like some foundation and concealer and then eyeshadow and then lashes oh oh i got primer in my fucking mouth Ugh. so i'm getting ready to prime my face with the i don't know what this is primer i think you prime it like this you just put it all over your face i don't even know what primer is this is like so you don't break out and shit right or so your makeup can last it feels very soapy like so after i do this i'm about to go ahead and start applying foundation do you conceal first or do you do foundation first i think maybe you conceal first I have these two dark spots right here, so I'm going to conceal first. I know some people go like this. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I'm just winging it. I'm going to definitely keep practicing though, you guys. So don't think just because I'm doing this right now that I'm not going to keep practicing. I know I suck, but I'll get better one day. Why does my face look like Casper? Why does it make me look ashy? Okay, maybe I should have foundation first and then concealed. Mm, I don't know. That doesn't hurt to try, right? I don't even know what conceal does. Oh, I think people don't do concealer like I think people put contour like this. I'm switching my brush. I don't even know the purpose of these brushes, but I'm switching mine. 
I really hope I'm not wasting my time because if I am, that'll suck, you know? Like, it'll really suck that I did all of this just to not even wear it out. I look white right now, y'all. I look white. Why do I look white? It gotta be the concealer. Okay, I'm about to add my foundation. Okay, no, I'm wiping this off because I don't even want it to look white. Like, no. I'll put it, like, under my eyes and everything, but definitely on my forehead to make it look like a ghost. Now I'm doing foundation. Y'all, this is the update on how the makeup is going. So I did like the foundation and everything with the eyeshadow. I don't know how it looks on camera to y'all. But in person, it looks, you know, it looks okay. It looks wearable. I'm in the process of putting my other mink on right now. So I feel like once the lashes are on, the look will come together. But yeah, I don't know how to look on camera. I gotta look for myself. But yeah, I'm gonna do a flashback test. I've been doing it like the whole process and I have flashback. But you know, hopefully we just wanna avoid the flashlight, all right? We just wanna avoid the flashlight for today. But yeah, so I did like a little gold brown look-ish eyeshadow with the foundation so i didn't use this foundation because this foundation was a little bit too light i guess so i end up using my julia foundation i like this one it's not like too cakey or too thick for my preference i feel like it was cool i was supposed to record me doing this process but yeah i see why people be like i can't record myself doing makeup because this shit takes patience and time but i'm almost finished after i put this lash on i'm gonna do a lip then get dressed i may keep my glasses on the whole fucking day <laughs> jk we'll see hey you guys happy sunday hope you all enjoyed this video it has officially come to an end i wanted to say that i didn't get to close out this video because after I got done my makeup and I got dressed, my aunt, she canceled the dinner, y'all. She canceled the dinner. And I told y'all my cousin, she was riding with me. She was already on her way to my house. So I'm like, okay, well, we can't just sit in the house for however long she says until, you know, we figure out something to do. So we went to my other aunt's house and we were just over there talking. You know, we ordered some pizza because my aunt, she canceled the dinner. Dinner was at like 8. She canceled dinner at 7.30, y'all. 7 30 because she was still in her head and i was so freaking mad i had gotten dressed i had done my makeup and all that in a timely manner so at this point after she canceled it i was being rushed like i couldn't do everything i wanted to do because i had my cousin on my on her way to my house so i was being rushed to you know get her figure out something for us to do like it was just a complete catastrophe and it was a mess then we didn't end up going out y'all a lot of y'all did not end up going out until like 1 a.m and we was out for like two hours probably so I did end up going out and I did wear the makeup. The makeup actually did really, really good and it looked really, really good. I'll insert some pictures. And then the next day, which was Saturday, I said I was going out for the entire weekend. I went to a restaurant and we went to the club. The makeup was given that day, baby. The makeup was given. So I did my face for two days straight in a row and that shit was bomb as fuck. But like I said, it's still more work that needs to be done. I'm going to continue to practice. I have been continuing to practice on my face. So, you know, I'm still learning. Like I said, if y'all got any recommendations or any advice, please, please, please let me know. A few of them I already know was that my eyebrow pencil, I need to get an actual pencil, not whatever that was. I thought that's what I was getting, but it wasn't. I need to get like an actual pencil, like a lip liner. So I need something like that. And as far as a concealer... Um, I saw one girl, she did her foundation first, and then she did concealer, and then she did, like, a little bit more foundation on that. So, I'm going to try that next time as well. But, like I said, my makeup routine is pretty simple to my liking. Like, I don't want my shit to look like I am a doll, baby. I want it to look, you know, natural and flawless. And the way I had it, I love it. My eyeshadow, my foundation, the brows, lip. Everything was just perfect for me. I just want to give y'all that rundown and thank y'all for watching today's video. I love you all so much and I'll see y'all next week.